Dream sequence. <laughs> All of a sudden, dream sequence. A very weird dream sequence. You awake to a beautiful morning. Oh. Oh, we spent a night with. Oh. Oh my god. We spent a night. Oh my god. That's why. Ah. Oh my god, he let me stay. Is I slept there. Oh my god. Taking it slow. Guys, this is taking it slow. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you make the right decision on how you respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will truly tell. Today is the day we could change the rest of your life. You think about the new secret ingredient and you just learn about... Doot! In some jurisdiction... Isn't even legal, but if the recipe is a secret, how will they know? Right? Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast and waters in the slide of it. In the side of it, Bala. Here's a sample of breakfast I just worked out. It's meticulous. Wow, that is very fancy. Fancy you. Na, 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 na. Fancy. You taste Colonel Sanders' food. It takes you on a journey. When you return, he is waiting to ask you an important question. So, it's to say, we're the perfect match. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, Colonel! Oh my god! Don't ask me that! <gasps> How presumptuous! Oh my god! Presumptuous! Mighty scene and your taste buds, that is. I was thinking you and me and like, mwah mwah mwah. Labi labi. Christ. Such confidence. Such grace. Could he be the world's greatest gift to flatter him? Oh my god, heart heart! You know, I think we might make great tea. A single tear begins to pull in the corner of his eyes as he gazes out of the window. Ah, kill me now! And with the right business partner, I know I can thrill. Oh! B -b 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 business partner? Could he be talking to you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confusion by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears, unable to speak. The only answer you can find is to run out of the door and get home. There's still one more day of school after all. The University of Cooking School Academy of for Learning waits for no one. You get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for you. Where have you been? Uh... Because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried so something had happened. It's okay, I was just... Now that it turns out you're fine, I can finally get you up to speed on the saga of Miriam. Sure, but... Do you not believe that happened to me after school yesterday? I wonder the day! I think I can believe that. Since I've been partnered up with Clank, he asked me to go out with him. Of course I told him, you better keep your dialogue string to polite and respectful. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interested in spending on some warm one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure. I can get to know a little metallic guy. Long story short, 
He took me skydiving with his friends, but things quickly spiraled out of control. Did she... Did she just say skydiving? As if that's a typical first date to go on with a talking pressure cooker. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't give Miriam time to tell her whole story out. Bottling up the details of your own night is just too much. Uh -huh, and I went on a date too. Back to Colonel Sanders' house where I spent the night with him. You what? Hmm, nothing happened but the emotional connection. Wowzers! Being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is strong. You don't want to be right. <laughs> you don't want to be right, man. You don't want to be right. I am wrong, wrong, wrong. Never right. That's wrong. God damn the story. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate place. What? Did I, did, did I just lost my best friend? I think I did. Shit. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. Oh my god. Oh, here we go again. You can tell from a distance they're picking on Pop. Though he himself might not quite grasp that fact. Because you know, he's Pop. What's a swirly? That sounds delicious. Oh, it's real. I'll order you one up right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. <laughs> sprinkles, a dog, and a uh. treat. <laughs> you can't get your swirly dipped. I'm a big one. Oh my god. Your new boss is Nana, Ashley. Why don't you pick up on some of your own mm. size? Because I'm literally the biggest person in this call. <gasps> there is that horse that Colonel Sanders tried. Who would dare pick up such a gentle and beautiful page? Oh my god! Got some dare of me suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Now you're twisting my words, and I won't have it. You clench your fist, but the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you miss it, pain. He died. Ah, ouch. Doesn't look like you can go fix that, but just give up. Shut the fuck up. I'll never give up. Ever! Colonel Sanders arrived just as it appears things are close to boiling over. A naturally initiative person. He says that something has been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Mimi, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting for her by this afternoon. <sighs> huh. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday, I almost broke a nail. Winning is so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing? Hmm, complimenting, complimenting her. Hmm. But what about the flavor of my token? Warm, gooey, chocolate sauce. It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. Ah, uh, that's a lot of words to say. It was bland. Excuse me. I am more than capable enough to speak for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe you could tell me more about your thoughts as we walk past. I'm always interested in self find right? Do you say? Excuse me. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for... Who you know she really is, you walk across the plot to get some dust in. Those dice can save lives. <laughs> in an attempt to distract yourself from how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashley, you take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Oh, is that a bug? It looks like that. <sighs> There's just something I found lying around. It would appear to be some sort of grimoire. 
Wow, black clover, black clover. But I don't really believe in that kind of magic stuff. A grimoire? A book of spells? I don't know. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it weren't really powerful? I can think one surefire way to find out. You open the page covered with arcane writings. Cast only in case of extreme emergence. Say, it says around the end of the page. Asta, the Asta screaming in the background. Ah! Asta. I could use the spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it'll probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. Oh no, you don't page! That is way drastic. Why don't you do something else? Like anything else not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger? Okay, fine. That It is drastic, but this spread time is called for desperate measures. Oh my god. Mm. You got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. I don't want to do it. You take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. <laughs>